Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are gonna try some amazing soups recommended by Sporked.com. See what we think of them and uh, entice you to uh, get your soup on. But first, uh, we're gonna tell a 10-word story, which uh, at this point you know is not a 10-word story. It's a story that goes until we feel like it's done. Right. Uh, uh, Benjamin. <laughs> embarked on a journey. Because he was so fed up with his mom. She was so mean <laughs> and uh, misunderstanding. Which led to his departure from home. <laughs> Benjamin then turned right. Because <laughs> left would have killed his mom. Oh, two words. Yeah, I've done that a couple of times now. Okay. And that's fun because his foot is big. In conclusion, <laughs> Benjamin needs shoes. <laughs> he killed his mom. He 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 didn't I don't know kill what his he mom. Did. I lost. He track. did not kill his I mom. I lost track. All right. Um, but you know what? We've gone from being it was a story so bad at that to being really bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin embarked on a journey because he was so fed up with his mom. She was so mean and misunderstanding, which led to his departure from home. <laughs> Benjamin then turned right because left would have killed his mom. And that's fun because his foot is big. In conclusion, in conclusion, man. in conclusion, Benjamin needs shoes. Chase, get in here. Yeah. Um, I like it. I, listen, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shoot straight. I'm gonna give you a full disclosure. Oh no, don't do it. This more uh -uh. was supposed to feature Gwyneth. Yep. Um, but she's on tour with her rock star husband. <laughs> no, she just didn't feel no, good she's today. She's just sick. <laughs> she didn't I feel... Just, I was trying to make it sound even cooler. She didn't feel good today. You can raise up. Oh, thank you. No, no, don't. Raise up. <laughs> but then don't. No, yeah, raise all the way up. So oh, we've got the... the that, is it we, that we've invited the producer <laughs> of, um, of this episode, Shakes. Hello. To join us and um, sampled these soups that Gwynedd and Spork are asserting are good, are worthy of purchase and enjoyment. That's what they told me. Chase, what is this first one? This is the Campbell's Chunky Minestrone with Italian sausage. Minestrone. Italian sausage. Oh, wow. Ita Sorry, I always say that it's wrong. It's got, that, wow. is that, a, is that a big chunk of sausage? In and a, is that a big a chunk a of tater, tater and? We got pasta, taters, potato, and pasta. A lot of chunk. I'm not a big. I don't like a lot of chunk in my soups. Oh, yeah, you said a second ago that you're not a big stew guy. No, I don't like. Well, this, may, this is a Campbell's chunky soup. So if it wasn't chunky, they'd be lying. That's quite nice. It's pretty good, man. Seventeen grams of protein what in this. What do you like about stews? I feel like. A soup should just kind of go down relatively easy, and then like with a stew, it's like, oh, it's a it's soupy, but then you gotta like sit and chew a lot of big things. You chew a stew, you slurp a soup. Oh, you want to just you want to drink your food? Yeah, well, <laughs> just, just wait, <laughs> just wait, just you wait. Eventually, <laughs> we all do. But you know, I think this is this is good. This is almost on the cusp. What are you doing with that hand? I got a little bit of soup. He's holding a little on soup this with hand, it. but I don't have a napkin. No, that's it. what Chase does. He collects a little drop of soup <laughs> in his left hand. And then at the very end, I got new soup. Yeah, and then he's all the soups together in one big soup bite. Soup bowl. Yeah. When, when, I you you when I saw you earlier today, you taking another bite? When I saw you earlier today, you were standing at an angle. And I looked at your shirt, and I could not tell that you, basically, it's obvious now that you're sitting here that you have a zipper that is like the middle, and you have a zipper that is the pocket. Nothing in there. <laughs> And if, well, what if you had something in there and it just fell right out? But you were standing at an angle and it looked like this was in the middle 
And I thought you had a shirt that had two <laughs> zippers. And a strip. And then a strip. And I was like, what happens if he undoes both of them? Does a strip fall down? And yeah. I was about to ask you about it. And then you turned and it squared up. And it was just a pocket. That just was something that happened in my mind that I would never have talked about and, unless you came out here and joined us. Well, I'm very happy I did. But Patagonia, if you're listening, maybe you should do the strip thing. <laughs> Yeah, because all the way down. When you unzip it, then it would it would like create a it would a flopping like a tie. It would be like a reverse tie, reverse a tie from the crotch, tie. and it goes all the way a crotch tie, all the way down. Stevie, Stevie, all the way down. Yeah, it goes all <laughs> the way down, and then it stops at the bottom. Let's try the try the next one. <laughs> Let's try the next one. Uh, but, that was pretty big. Pretty big fan good. of that. Pretty I didn't good. know I liked minestrone. Next we have what, Chase? This is the, uh, I think, Anderson's uh, Creamy Split Pea Soup. Creamy Split Pea Soup, yeah. I'm a fan of uh, Split Pea Soup. Because um, you like pudding. But I, yeah, I like <laughs> I like peas, I like green peas, and I like pudding. I like it with ham chunks in it, though. Hmm. I, would, I, I wouldn't argue with some bacon thrown in there. There is neither in this. You can, you can uh, dress it up any, any way you want. Now, Chase, this fits the criteria. This is clearly soup. This is soup. This is drinkable. Ooh, that's good. I like a piece of soup as well. Good. There are places you can drive in California, and you will see billboards, people touting their pea soup. It's like in Central California. Yeah. There's like a big pea soup place. It might be Anderson's. There's all kinds. Of because Central California has so much farming, there's so many things like that as you go through. Like, try our lavender, try our honey, try our peas. Almonds. They're, you know, and you can get them at little roadside stands. There's that one city in the middle Nut of California logs. that just smells like garlic, too. It's like a very garlicky city. Which one is that? You drive through. Yeah. Gilroy. Gilroy, Gilroy smells like garlic? Mm-hmm. I must have had the windows up. <laughs> uh, I think this is my first time having split pea soup. It just tastes like a bunch of mushed up peas. It really is, is not just bad. mushy it's peas. It's like hot baby food. Yeah, which- You like it? That, I'm just realizing now too that I really like a just soupy soup, but I was never a big baby food fan. Like, or even, like even as a baby? Even as a baby. Now I wanted to crunch, I guess. Yeah, I don't remember eating baby food as a baby. My <laughs> memories were didn't form until later. Hmm. Well, he banged his head against the fireplace, remember? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of locked those ones into yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Uh, I'm a fan of this. It's this no is, minestrone. This is good. It's a it's it's a little too s hint of celery, but uh, <laughs> we're putting the Italian sausage ahead of it. Oh, we're ranking these. Yeah, we're ranking these. I leave it on the, the board. Italian sausage ahead of it. Yeah, I want the right. Italian sausage to be a little spicier, though. Okay. You, well, we'll, the we'll send a letter. You know, all of these we'll canned soups. It it. it it's within the realm of expectation to know that you're gonna douse it with something. Yeah, yeah, I wanna spice it myself a little bit more. Okay, Rhett, what is this one? Well, let's see. It is Panera Broccoli Cheddar Store-bought. You can get this from Panera, but you can also get this, and this is the version we got from the stove. I feel like this has the potential to be better than Seven dollars restaurant one. We've had the restaurant one on the show, and I think I remember not liking it. And thinking, how do you screw up that? <laughs> this is basically some melted cheese with broccoli in it. Doesn't sound that bad. Right. Does not. You ever been to, is it, there's another city up there, Visalia? Is that, is that one? Yeah. That's a big one. Oh, sorry, I cheesed. <laughs> oh, I cheesed quite a lot. That's why you gotta do the hand. Mm. That's cheesy. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I don't know, I was enjoying it and then I saw your yeah, face. Yeah, I'm enjoying it too. Yeah, I don't think yeah. there's anything wrong with it. I'm going in for sex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, don't cheese too much, Which is, is short for seconds. Sex. I'm going in for sex. S-E-C-S. -E -S. I was just trying to be, I was trying to be efficient with my language. <laughs> I'm going in for sex. I mean, if if you're really thinking of it as S E C S, yeah, it makes sense. It's like it's fully ex acceptable. Like thirds, going in for thirds, sex. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that when I'm dining with my family next time. 
Why are you going in there, Dad? <laughs> I'm going in for sex. I'm going in there for sex. Don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give it another try since you guys liked it so much. Yeah, well, well tell us what you don't like about it. Because it just tastes like good old broccoli and cheese soup to me. Very cheesy. Broccoli's not, like, overwhelming. I think the broccoli is overwhelming. <laughs> really? No, no. I think it's got a... I think you want the broccoli. It's not cheddar broccoli soup, it's broccoli cheddar soup. And the thing that's easily screwed up with when it comes to cheese soup that's in a thing that you buy is a milly thing happens with the cheese and they avoided that somehow. Yeah, really makes you want sex. <laughs> right, uh, yep, I'm on board. It's an aphrodisiac. I think I, it's better than the pea soup, but I but I, mean, I, I love the pea Link soup. Link doesn't like, but like it, so I've we'll make it no, I've been voted out. You guys both you like it better than peas? I did like better than peas. Yeah, the peas are a little too plain. If Gwen had were here, it'd be different right now. Yeah, yeah, she would have told us some cool stories. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, she would, she would have said something. I had to tell you more about Gilroy. Uh, <laughs> my cousin lived there. Uh, oh, really? He said you get used to the garlic smell. So they grow a lot of garlic there? Is that what's happening? I think. I think so, yeah. I think it's just like a garlic a garlic farm town. When you saw him, did he reek of it? No, I think he would shower before. Like he yeah, would but, drive down, shower. But you know how it is with it. garlic. Yeah. Well, if you're it's kind it. of embedded within you. If you're eating it, but if you're just I don't think if you walk through a garlic field you get it. Yeah, I don't think he was one to just walk through the fields. Uh, what, is, is, what do we have here? This is Panera Breads Autumn Squash Soup. Six dollars and fifty cents. A lot of people get really excited about squash. I'm not one of them. <laughs> there are some chunks. I don't know. I guess it will be a chunk some of. Some people get so excited about squash. Autumn squash. <laughs> and I'm like, there's so well, many other things you get excited like, about. Well, you make it like seasonal. You know, it's one of those things. It's like my mm. wife really gets excited about squash. Right? Like, what you kind know. of squash does she get excited about? I just, I don't know. If there's a squash this soup, she'll, she'll get it. And then she also, she loves that. Uh, Spaghetti squash. Mm. She'll do that mm. and in place of pasta. I'm like, mm -mm. that ain't that ain't right. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't right. Yeah, that's that a problem. Yeah, no, that's not good. This is this is not this is not bad. You think this is bad? I like this. It's not yeah. bad, but I'm just not excited about it's it. It's very sweet, and I want to throw in a bunch of hot sauce. You want to throw in huh. stuff to everything? No, Chase wanted to throw stuff in, and I'm joining him. Yeah. Um, well, I think this soup is like is inviting. I think this and the pea soup are inviting, like at least a little something on top, like a little crema. Yep, a little crema and some hot sauce. <laughs> but it does taste good. Too. I like again. I like it better than the pea soup. The pea soup. I don't. No, I'm not gonna let this happen. It's falling for me. I'm not gonna let this happen. Pea I like soup. the squash soup taste better, but I don't mind the like. This is very thick. This soup, and I like the this the is, texture. It's so pea. It's so pea. That's what it is. Man. Yeah, it delivers. Okay. <laughs> well, then we're making squash last. We're making squash last. Yes, I, I'm putting my foot down. All right. Chase? Yes. Tell them what we got here. This is Rao Rao's homemade chicken noodle. Rao's Italian Rao, style. Rao, Rao. Oh, this is Rao's homemade chicken noodle Italian style slow simmered soup. Rao consistently makes a great marinara. Hmm. This comes from a jar, not a can. Mm -hmm. I think everything from Rao's is in a jar. I think that's their thing, jars. I am uh, absolutely one of the types of people who will keep all of the jars that I get from the grocery store. Wow. And then I'll, like, do what with them? Because I just think they're like they're gonna come in handy. You put for little something. rocks in them. Um, what what are you little habitats? Jars? What do you keep in jars? When I the last time I moved, uh, I put a lot of stuff in jars. There was like a jar full of cables. There was a jar full of I had like buttons. You know, like when you get you a got a shirt. jar of cables. And, yep. Yeah. Uh, and then I, we got there and I was like, there's too many jars. So I, I recycled a lot of them, but yeah. This is a constant argument in my household. Um, whether will, to keep the jars oh, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cassie wants to keep everything. Exactly. But they I, are recyclable and that's they what are, makes and you feel good They are and you have to rush, you have to rush to recycle them. You have to bury them under other things. Oh, uh, and you have then, to hide it. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just, uh, my recycling is reviewed on a daily basis as she opens the recycling and goes, <laughs> Stevie, this is not recyclable, or why did you put this in there? So it really, I wind up losing the majority of the time, the, the jar game. Um, we is, she, a lot of is she using these jars, or are they just stacked somewhere? Both. Okay. Um, you know, a nice storage container, I understand, can come in handy. 
perfect uh, for cables. But, you know, like how many things, how many things are you storing? I would not say that a jar is perfect for cables. That's like the last thing I've ever Well, but you can see what, you can see what's in it. Yeah. Oh, that's a cable jar. But then you gotta take all of the wad of cables out. Oh yeah, I'm not it. opening it, I'm just but know it's, it's nice a, a jar of cables. I got the USB-C cable jar, oh, I got ooh. the lightning cable jar. Wow. I, got, I tried to do it that way, it didn't really work out, but. That's a pretty uh, good idea. It really, the, the, the jar is not it's efficient a lot, for. I take old protein, um, like big protein, plastic protein things, and I put my grease in there. That's the way I recycle containers. Cause it's just like, you got this big thing of protein with a mouth that big. And so you can pour your grease into it. You know, and then when it gets full, yeah. oh. you can dispose of it properly. You can't put, cause you're not supposed to put it in the trash. I don't uh, you can put it in the compost, cook though. meat that often at my house. So I forgot like the You, you know how much grease. grease I'm, I'm talking about like when I make my fried chicken sandwiches for a party of like 40 people. That's so much Give grease. That. That's this much grease. You can't put that in compost. Good God. What is this? Gr uh. <laughs> it looks like clam chowder to me, Chase. Yeah, that. Is this ba ba ba? Got a little bit of a crust on the top now. Let me, let me, let me break the top with the. With a new Make it look a little more appetizing. It, I thought it was porridge. We didn't I was evaluate thinking, yeah, cream that of chicken wheat noodle. Or it, it, chicken noodle is really good. And I, I think that, to me, that's number two. I'm willing to put it at number two. It was pretty good. I, the, I thought there was, it was missing chicken for a minute, but it just uh, kind of sunk A little light on the chicken. What is this, some sort of a... It does look like a very porridgey clam chowder. I mean, there's nothing else in it. How could... So Spork thought this was great. Let's see. Well, I mean, clam chowder, what else is it supposed to have in it? Well, it's a potato puree, apparently. There's no actual potato chunks. There's no, it's a no tiny vegetable. a little bit of potato chunk. Ooh, it's very clammy. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to get into this clam chowder hoping that you're getting away from clams. I don't know why you would do that. Right. <laughs> I do think the first bite hits hard. Bahaba, you need like the oyster crackers for a clam chowder. It, it would That's be true. it would be nice to balance it out with a little something a little salty crackly. Mm -hmm. Now, just a note mm -hmm. about this: it is condensed. Comes out of the can. You've got to uncondense it with just straight water. That always grossed me out a little bit. Maybe with milk, you could do it with milk. That would have been better. This is this is uh. That's my least favorite. It's hard. It's hard to eat. <laughs> It's not great, but I, if you, you like to really be in the mood for clams, you can give it a try. I'm not going in for sex on that one. <laughs> not going in for sex. Well, um, I want to remind you that um, this cookbook is um, our latest release, written by Josh, with the support of the entire mythical team, and all of our excitement is is being poured into this. Our favorite recipes from the show, and some other things. Lots of lots of fun little write ups as well. It's very Pro funny. Go to mythical.com slash cookbook and pre-order this puppy. Josh, turns out, is very funny. Be one of the first to own this thing. Hot off the presses. There's a picture of me in there, too. There's a picture of Chase in there. Lots of great pictures. So we, we've we locked in on an order here. Um, this minestrone, I think, is the big story here for me. I mean, that's yeah, a meal in a bowl. Go back to the list, <laughs> if you would, here, because we're going to look at Anderson's creamy split pea soup is my honorable mention. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worthy of it. mention. I love it. I love it. And Rao's chicken noodle soup. Thanks okay. For, thanks for joining us, Chase. You can take all the bowls with you. We okay. miss you, Gwyneth. Hope, hope you feel better tomorrow. If you need soup, I gotcha. I'll bring you sex. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met Gwyneth's husband. And I feel like I just messed up. <laughs> you did sex. Find your new favorite soup in one of the many canned soup rankings over at spork.com.